Hey guys, welcome back to a renovation series. If you are new to this channel, we've been renovating our entire 1960s ranch fixer upper. We've been filming this process as we do most of the work ourselves. In today's video, we're using black grouting on the subway tiles, paint the door going into the sunroom from the kitchen, and give an update of the progress we've been making in the bathroom. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and get some inspiration to do some DIY projects for yourself. So here guys, I am prepping the wall for grouting and taking off the dried on adhesive that is left on the tile because we don't want that on there while doing um, grouting because that will be a terrible mess. So as I was prepping this wall for the grout in, you know, in my head I'm wondering like, oh, should I have take uh, chose the the gray grout in because I already bought the black one? Would it look right? I was just so back and forth. I looked at so many different pictures <laughs> and to see what it would look like with all the different colors. I would I don't know. Maybe it's the first time I'm working with black grout in, so I was a little nervous of how it will turn out. <laughs> and of course Gart didn't complain he went with the flow he's like if that's what you choose then that's what we're gonna we're gonna use um so you know I'm like okay so I'm wondering how this is gonna work out um so guys you will see that coming up very soon of me adding the black route and see how it turned out you know if you have ever used black grout in and how was your experience using it Just getting the countertop all cleaned off there was a lot of dry adhesive on there so I'm just using the construction vacuum to uh, vacuum all of that those pieces up also I wanted to share with you guys that um, we finally got our bananas our little banana tree um, that was growing its bananas is now ready and we picked a whole bunch of it this week so I wanted to share that with you guys to see the bananas we got from our backyard Look guys we got some bananas got just cut a bunch well babe that's a lot of banana the bottom part looked like it's ripe mm -hmm. And the others, like, you think it was too soon to cut it? No. It's really <laughs> ripening. It's ripening? Yep. <laughs> Time to eat some bananas. Green bananas, ripe bananas. Here's Gart with some bananas. <laughs> yeah, guys, I got, I got the bananas. <laughs> and and um, it tastes different than the stores. It tastes different. The skin is different. Um... I don't know. It, it doesn't taste like the store type of bananas. This is this is very good. Um, I, wow. I actually like it a lot, and the texture is a little bit different. Maybe because it's organic and it's not like. Possibly, I don't know, but I like it. And I, <laughs> I, I want more of it. That's so. a lot of bananas, though, and they look like they're ripened too. Yeah, they are. So we're gonna enjoy it. And, <laughs> yeah, it wow. tastes pretty really good. And some of them are already started to ripen, so. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having more of these. So, <laughs> come, folks, and we can share this stuff. Oh, Hopefully, we get some more grow on the trees back there. Yeah, there are a few more actually back there. Oh, uh, so. all right. Looking we'll be back. eating a lot of bananas this week. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, guys. So I taped off all the areas to prep this wall for grouting. So I won't get any grouting in the food on the countertop. So this is what I got taped off so far. So I'm just gonna do all the prepping to start grouting this wall.
So you probably noticed that I was being super careful in getting all the grout in the grooves. And, but as I go along, I felt more confident um, about using this um, grout. Um, and it, um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I totally got the hang of it. I actually like using it. So continue watching and see how it turns out. As you may notice that I always have paint on my clothing. I'm always sitting in paint. I always have paint all over me. I'm painting almost every day. <laughs> so at this point, I just kind of gave up on um, <laughs> trying to look cute. Um, you know, just the, the funny part of it, you know, I always say to myself, well, it's the clothing of a working woman. So this is the next day and I decided to give the Marta bag a try and um, it actually worked really well. It's almost like using a piper, you know, like something that you use to pipe a cake, like putting the frosting on and making it really pretty. So it's almost like the same concept except that you are squirting um, the, um, the grout into the groove with this instrument. And I actually like it. It's less messy um, with, you know, um, wiping. Um, we still had to do a lot of wiping and cleaning, but it's not as messy as just doing it the regular way with um, the float. So at this point, um, Gart took over from me because I had to run out and get something done. And I, it looks like he started to use the Marta bag and then he went back to using the float to finish up the job. So um, this is later on. I came back to do some cleaning and um, just to take off all the little remainder of the grouting on the tile to make it look much neater.
was the next day and when Gart um, added some more grout we ran out um, the day before so I had to go to the store and buy some more grout so that's what he put in that little section there that's all the section that we had to complete so he put the grout and then I did the cleaning This day I had my friend T with me and she was doing some painting while I finished up the grouting. I am now prepping the door to paint it. I was so excited to get this door painted. Now that the kitchen is changing, this brown door stuck out like a sore thumb. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it white. is putting up the vent and I was really excited to see this vent go up because the kitchen starting to look more complete so he had to do a lot of um, changes to the hole um, to get it the fan um, centered over the stove Okay guys, so we are making progress and I am loving how this is turning out. The door is still drying from paint and um, I'm loving how the black grout turned out in the kitchen. Um, and we still got more work to do. Gart did an amazing job on this vent in putting that up. And as you can see, we still got drywall work to be done above the vent. He had to shift the vent because it wasn't um, even over the stove. So some more work need to be done above the vent to close the whole 
Um, and over here, we still have our light fixture to go over the sink. Um, that's where you see over there. So cannot wait to see what our light fixture will look over the sink area. Um, we, we still got our hardware to um, put on the drawers and the cabinet doors. Um, which I cannot wait to see what that would look like. And then we have the countertop to be sanded and um, stained. Well, um, it's this thing that's like a stain that we're gonna put on top of it that is safe for countertop that you use for food. Um, so yeah, so this is where we are so far. What else we have to do? I'm sure there's something else that I forgot to tell you guys what else we have to be done in here, but we have some more stuff to do, but not a lot, just some small details that need to be worked on. But guys, this is where we at. Oh yeah, the sink. Um, we just need to put the doors in for the sink as well. But the major work is done in here, guys. Like, look at that. Um, I am loving how the kitchen is turning out. It's looking just as how we want it to look, so. Um, there's definitely more to come in this kitchen and um, I am so grateful for how things are turning out. So guys, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around to give you guys a, a better um, view of where we are so far in this kitchen. as well too not just the kitchen um, it's just that I can get around to filming the whole process of what we got done so far so we got our flooring in the toilet the vanity um, and I still need to put a second coat of paint on the bathroom the tiling and the tub um, but I'm liking how it is coming together in here guys. It's starting to look like a bathroom and uh, We got a ton more work to do. Gart got started on the ship lapping So he put in just enough to put in the fixtures in here So you can see the ship lap behind the toilet and the vanity and he also got started with the first two um, on this side, so all of this needs to be done and we still got painting to do um, in here. Um, those wooden um, things need to be taken down so we can expand the space more and put some fresh paint on the wall. Um, and what else? We got, um, what else we got to do in here? I'm sure there's more that I can't remember so far, but um, just some more small details that needs to be done in here so it can look nice. Of course, our um, faucet for a shower head and do some changes with that as well too. So um, we are coming along really well. So what I'm gonna do is turn this camera around so you can get a better view of this bathroom. You guys can see the big difference of how the bathroom looked and where it is today. The kitchen has also come a long way. It is so motivating looking at the video as I edit it to see the progress that we're making. 
So guys, that will be it for today's video. And I really hope this video gave you some motivation and inspiration if you are doing some DIY projects in your home. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next Sunday with a new video. Take care and bye!